How you doing? Name's Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. Today it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, today I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk about the new tool that we just got because of course it's Tool Time Tuesday, but I'm gonna talk about Knowledge Fest first. We just came back, it's our 25th anniversary. Show's been running since 1994. So 25 years with this great show, it keeps getting bigger, keeps evolving, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Came back with some hardware, uh, won Best Customer Retention Program, I was honored to receive that, that was unexpected. So this award keeps these two little guys company. This one I won in 2016, Best Us Online Presence. This one I also won in 2016, this was Trusted Tech. The Knowledge Fest show is very important to me. I learn a lot. There's a lot of trainings that go on. Super important. It's helped me grow my business. And I've been honored because the past couple of years I've gotten to teach. So uh, I had a, two classes that I was able to teach this year along with some other great guys. Um, Ada, Ethan, Elias. Then um, the show was amazing. Uh, some really great guys came out, did some classes, learned a lot from those guys. Uh, there was a laser class this year that I sat in on. Um, the guys from Five, St Five Star did an excellent, excellent YouTube video class. Um, guys from Kingpin, along with uh, John Brettel and Chris McNulty, did a class on laser. The Gel Audio Marine class I sat in on was great. Rockford class was great. Um, Phoenix Gold class was also great sat in on that there were so many classes it sucked that some overlapped so i had to choose between classes ken ward's class was amazing every year it is um andy's class was also amazing very informative informative i know a lot i know a lot a lot a lot about car audio but when these two guys start talking i realized there's a lot that i still need to learn um the helix class also had me uh, at the edge of my seat. A lot of really, really great informative stuff about the new Helix DSPs and the way they handle all pass filters. So learned a lot in that class. So um, it was a great show. It was a disaster for me at the beginning. I got stuck in the airport for 24 hours. Then I had to fly into Houston and drive five hours to Texas. But the show was worth it. It was a big hassle, but it was worth it. Then... I came back to another big surprise. The CNC laser, the, I'm sorry, the CNC router that I ordered arrived while I was in Knowledge Fest. So I missed work for three or four days, came back to a shop full of cars and about 10 huge, heavy, random boxes that were placed all over the shop. And we had to move out of the way, find a place for them, come open, start assembly. So that is my Tool Time Tuesday for today. We're going to talk about the assembly of our brand new Zenbot CNC router. It's big, it's a uh, full, doesn't full eight by four sheet of MDF. I would have not gotten this far in assembly if it wasn't for my friend Charles Brazil from First Coast Auto Creation. About 100 phone calls to him and a couple of FaceTime videos. He got me assembled. We started assembling yesterday and then me and Gabriel spent like two or three hours on it today. For those of you guys that are getting an economy one like I did and have to assemble it together, the instructions are horrible. The build quality on the unit is amazing. The parts are super high quality. It goes together beautifully. The instructions are trash. It's literally page and a half print instruction that basically says put the thing together and run the software. There are no pictures. There's missing labels on half the parts, but uh... <laughs> Well, thanks to Charles's help, we got we got pretty far with it. I think we made a mistake on the belts on the bottom, so half the damn machine might have to come apart in the morning, but I'll let you know in part two of the video. Hopefully it's not. I'm going to call tech support in the morning and see if there's another way we can route that belt. I went over the instructions two or three times. It definitely wasn't in the instruction manual, but um, the belts that move it long ways aren't installed, and we have the whole damn unit installed, so we have the piece that moves the router this way. But the one that moves it that way, we have no idea how that goes together. So we'll see We'll see what tech support has to say tomorrow. I'm going to take you in the back and show you how far we got.
as you can see, the shop's a complete disaster. We have parts for our CNC all over the place that we're trying to assemble. Just got back from Knowledge Fest. Got as far as we could yesterday. Try and get this put together on top of our regular big project workload that we have all over the place. We have about 10 cars in here right now that we're working on. So I'll keep you posted, let you know how it works out. The instructions that came with this are pretty terrible. Thankfully, Charles Brazil is walking me through it since he's got his put together already. I'll keep you guys posted. A little bit of an update. Me and Gabriel stayed, put a couple hours in. We got the gantry all mounted up. We have the motor assembly mounted up for those of you. For those of you that are gonna order a table and put it together yourselves, you're gonna be in for some fun. There's a lot, a lot of pieces to be put together. <laughs> if you get the Zenbot, this is the instruction manual with no pictures, and it breezes through the entire assembly in two pages. <laughs> that was little to no help. <laughs> Charles Brazil put his together, so uh, like 10 phone calls to him and a couple of FaceTime, he got us to this point. So we have, plus our table didn't arrive yet, so we don't wanna be lugging this thing around, it weighs a few hundred pounds, so we made a temporary table with 10 casters underneath so we could easily move it around. See that I can move it with one hand. So we'll keep you updated this progress so far.